Hello, I'm Alex Swales, and I am the Morpeth Gadgie. It's my job to welcome people to the town's annual festival of all things Northumbrian, the Gathering. For over half a century, on the first weekend after Easter, we've enjoyed singing and dancing in the streets with more Morris men, fiddlers, folk singers, and club dancers than anyone could shake a stick at. <laughs> uh, but sadly, for the second year running, as a result of the pandemic, it is not possible for us to celebrate in the usual way. But the fair folk who run this fantastic event haven't given up, and that's why I'm here, to bid you a virtual welcome as the gathering goes online. Saturday, April the 10th, will be a day to enjoy music, dance, dialect, drama, heritage, art and craft in a di digital way. There will be concerts, family shows and stories, workshops and sessions, archive, film and an art gallery, all staged in a COVID-secure environment via the wonders of YouTube, Facebook and Zoom. You can learn all about it by going to the Morpeth Northumbrian Gathering Facebook page or website, which is a bit difficult for a 14th century bailiff, but never mind, you can try. So until that happy day, when we finally put the muckle beast of infection behind us, we can sing and dance in the streets together once more. I bid all you bonny lads and lasses a hail and hearty welcome to the gathering 2021 online. Gan canny and stay safe each and every one. Good evening, Morpeth Gathering. Um, it's almost two years since uh, I put some tunes into the composition class. Uh, to my surprise, um, uh, I won. Um, so I'm going to play you some tunes uh, from, from that time, uh, some that were in the competition and some that weren't. Uh, the first I wrote after the gathering, um, and it's called The Spectacle. Uh, and I'll follow that with a tune that won the class, which was uh, the Daft Laddies Hornpipe. Uh, the Daft Laddies are Clive Dalton and Don Clegg, uh, both great dialect storytellers and poets. Um, yeah, so a couple of hornpipes for you.
<laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> right, um, we'll follow that with a, a couple of rats. Um, uh, these were both in the competition. Uh, one of them came third, but I can't remember which one it was. Uh, the first is called Brunton Bank, which is up the hill from me here. Uh, and we'll follow that with Course and Side Hall, um, which sounds magnificent, but is in fact a, a small wooden shed in, in West Woodburn, uh, where we used to gather for, for music and stories and uh, uh, yeah, social nights uh, two of your way back in 2019. Uh, hopefully we'll get back to that at some point in, uh, in the summer or maybe it's in the autumn. So yes, uh, a couple of rants for you, and uh, I'll see you again in Walpath soon. Here we go.
Hello, um, I'm very pleased to be joining you at Morpeth Gathering, albeit virtually. Still, uh, it's better to be virtual than not at all. I'm going to sing now um, a song which was appropriate just a few weeks ago um, when we had the bad weather. So this is The Snow It Melts The Soonest. Oh, the snow it melts the soonest when the winds begin to sing. And the corn it ripens fastest when the frosts are setting in. And when a woman tells me that me fears she'll soon forget, me for we part, I would it croon, she's fain to follow it yet. Oh, the snow it melts the soonest when the winds begin to sing. And the bee that stung when summer shone in winter cannot sting. I've seen a woman's anger turn between the night and morn. And it's surely not a harder thing to tame a woman's scorn. Or oh, the snow it melts the soonest when the winds begin to sing. And the swallow skims we out to thought as long as it is spring. But when spring goes and winter comes, me lass, I will be fain for me pride to follow me. Where to cross the storm he main. Oh, never see me farewell here, no farewell I'll receive. But I will set you to the stile, and a kiss, and take your leave. And I'll stay here, till the woodcock comes, and the martlet takes his wing. Since the snow it melts, the soonest when the winds begin to sing. Thank you. Uh, right, I'm going to carry on now, but we're going to have a, a set of tunes from Sam, which uh, he'll obviously introduce for you. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to play two tunes for you now. The first one is the great Morpeth rant, and then I'm going to go into a French Canadian tune which is um, called La Cadienne, I think it's called, which um, I got from the great band Labertine Sunior, that means the laughing boot, I think, or slipper. Uh, either way, they're a great band, and uh, they did great tunes, so I hope you enjoy them. You know, like this. <laughs>
Right, thanks very much, Sam. Um, it's amazing what you can do from from a distance, isn't it? And you, you didn't even hear me asking. Um, we're going to finish now, and this is uh, a song which I, I learned many, many years ago. Had the pleasure of uh, persuading Hannah Hutton to sing it, and an even greater pleasure of uh, joining her uh, in singing it at uh, Rothbury Festival when I sang the harmony that uh, I used to do with Cockersdale. So this is the Ard Fisher's Farewell to the Corket, and once again joined by Sam.
you very much. I hope you have a great weekend. Okay, hope to see you next year in real life. Thanks. Bye now. Hello, we're Glenn and we're so excited to be uh, playing for this gathering this year. Uh, we played, had a blast playing at the, the fundraiser last year, but unfortunately the gathering was cancelled uh, due to COVID. Um, the first three tunes we'll be playing for you uh, is a set of three Northumbrian tunes, uh, but we've taken them, we've arranged them, we've put our own twist on them.
right, so our next set of tunes is a set of three Canadian jigs. Uh, the first one was written by a good friend, Kyle Weymouth. Uh, the second one is an Irish jig that's played a lot over here. And the third one is an East Coast tune. Uh, we're just going to have some Ottawa Valley step dancing, so uh, you guys are in for a treat. step dancing, which is kind of a mix between uh, Irish chanos dancing, which is an old form of Irish dancing, and uh, clogging from all over Europe. Um, we'd just like to say, uh, before we finish with our last set, thank you to Kim and the rest of the committee, and to Dad for filming, because he's done a pretty good job, we think, um, as well as all of you for having us here. Uh, our final set is going to be uh, a tune that Catherine Tickell wrote for us, uh, into a reel or two, we're not actually sure how many reels are in the set. Uh, but it's uh, Jeremy Kittle's boxing reels.
Right, time for a tune on the pipes. Uh, it's an old tune, old song tune called The Lass of Hexhamshire. Hello, I'm Wallace, and I'm looking forward to playing some tunes for you at the online Moped Gathering here. Uh, I missed going to the gathering last year, so I'm looking forward to playing some tunes for you this time, albeit virtually. Um, I'm going to start off with a wee horn pipe that's a fairly familiar one. It's called Madame Bonaparte. Hope you enjoy. Thank <laughs> you. 
we go. Uh, I'm going to carry on now with um, a couple tunes on the cello. Um, oh, I forgot to move the microphone. <laughs> okay, should hear me a bit better there. Um, try to not make too many takes of this, try to be realistic with you. So, anyway, um, this is a slow air that um, I learnt while I was in the Northumbrian Ranters. And um, it was one of uh, many tunes that Alistair gave to us um, that were uh, for a while a part of our repertoire there. And it's a lovely tune. It's called Miss Patricia Gilmore. And following that is a tune that uh, I came up with. It's called The Kestrel in the Garden. I hope you enjoy. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
There we go. Whoop. <sighs> Squeeze this out of the way now. Back to concertina. I always do this to myself where I'm, I just switch back and forth and stuff and it's always awkward. Okay. Uh, I'm going to finish it off with the last couple of tunes for you now. Um, the first one is a lovely tune called The Sweetness of Mary, written by Cape Breton composer Joan MacDonald Bowes. And uh, last of all is a Scots Gunner tune. I'm going to have a bash at that. It's the hurricane. Wish me luck. And um, thank you for listening. Also, uh, thank you very much to uh, Kim and John and um, Ian for editing these videos as well. And, um, oh, there's the watch. And uh, everyone else working hard to put the, um, these kind of events on this year. Cheers.
between him and me and here I must stand with a tear in my eye both sighing and sickly me sweetheart to see
Hello everybody, my name's Mossy Christian and in 2019 I won the Open Fiddle Championship. Uh, I'm going to play you a set of three hornpipes this afternoon. The first one is a tune I learned from the late great Willie Taylor. Uh, the middle one is called Wade Hampton's Hornpipe and the last one is the Champion Clog Hornpipe. Comes a trailing up the road. He calls it Barabon to drop ten pound worth of his load. He sees your frying pan and starts fair dribbling at the roof. He says, I'll have to wear buns for a ton we be a good soup. Dear driver, lights, it's Friday morning, big and sonnies. He doesn't stay our land for fear of what there will be bonnies. He sees Henny fill your frying pan with rashes of the best. I'll sit and read me paper as long as I'm not being a pest. You can furnish it with fried eggs and some HP of the broom. Don't say I'll fill me belly up for a head away back doom. Dear driver, lights, it's Friday morning, big and sunny. We didn't stay our life up the other block, there will be bonnies.
sitting at the other table After chowing on them flapjacks They'll be less inclined or able To move so they'll have five And sit and keep Dave company Before the hand hits twelve He'll head back to Rothbury Dave the driver likes his Friday morning bacon sardis He doesn't stay an hour late For fear the water will be barnless Know that Robson and Cowan's laddies Had his fill for the weekend he climbs back in his cab and disappears around the bend. He's got near mayor deliveries and he's had his reward. And he's lang since lost Coombe to Val, the cups of tea he's poured. Dear the driver likes his Friday morning bacon sardines. He does the hour long for fear of what there will be barnies.
A very big hello to everybody and a huge thank you to the Morpeth Northumbrian Gathering for asking me to come along and play a, a few tunes on this online occasion. It's great that we're keeping things going and I really look forward to seeing everybody in the flesh as soon as possible. What you just heard was a couple of tunes that I wrote in the south of Wales in a farm called Mucha. We used to hold JS Arts courses there, a couple of fiddle courses. Uh, those were Mucha's numbers four and five. And then I followed them with a tune by the great Willie Taylor, one of his finest, a tune called Shirley's Reel. I'd like to continue with a tune by the great Irish harper, Turlough O'Carolan. Last year, 2020, was a very big anniversary for O'Carolan, and because of lots of things, I'm afraid it went without a great big shout. It was the 350th anniversary of his birth. So I'd like to play one of his lesser known tunes that was actually the, one of the first tunes of his that I played in public. I played it at the Bay Hotel in Colour Courts for the Colour Courts Folk Club. I'd uh, recently bought a book of Caroline tunes and this was the first one that really leapt out at me. A tune named for Fanny Dillon.
I'll continue now, if I may, with uh, just a, a selection of traditional flavoured dance tunes. The first one um, is 93 Not Out by Will Atkinson, another of the, the group The Shepherds. And the second tune is, oh, it's just one of my favourite Northumbrian tunes, The Bellingham Boat. Then the third tune is a tune written by my good friend and wonderful Northumbrian piper Chris Ormston. We played in a band together called Swing Bridge and this is the Swing Bridge rant that he wrote. And then I'd like to finish up this set with, uh, with another rant. This one I wrote for Heather Robb on the occasion of her marriage to Dr. Anthony Robb. And uh, what a joyous occasion that was. They are wonderful people and Heather is an amazing person. Um, so this one is called Heather's Rant.
finish up, I'm going to ask my daughter and my son to join me and play you a waltz that I wrote called Chadwick's. It was named for the family of Melanie Chadwick. Melanie is a fab fiddle player, plays with the Tyneside Fiddle Alliance and Walsington Strings and the Hexham Village Band and she's a very busy lady indeed. And uh, like I say, a terrific musician. It was great to be able to name this tune for her family. Thanks for listening. Very, very best of luck to the Morpeth Northumbrian gathering. I look forward to seeing as many of you in the flesh next year. Fingers crossed. She laughed at me. You're laughing at me. I'm sorry. <laughs>